Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and I want to welcome you to Resources for Life TV. This is a brief video to introduce the variety of videos that we're offering through the resourcesforlife.com website. Most of them you'll find on YouTube um, as long as they are 10 minutes or less. The longer ones, there are a few of those, we offer through Vimeo and Blip TV, uh, which are similar services. And um, basically, uh, for those of you who followed the history of YouTube, you know that uh, eventually YouTube was purchased up by Google, and uh, that seems to be a pretty good thing. Um, lately, the channel formats have changed. So if you're on the Google Resources for Life channel right now, you'll see a, a new format than was available in, in past years. There are playlists that you'll see um, an option to click on playlists and you can choose to view videos by category. So you can watch all the videos on health or on technology, whatever topic um, interests you. And uh, basically that's, that's it. And uh, otherwise the videos are available uh, in order that they are published, which is relatively random, so that's not quite as helpful unless you like just following these videos along as they are put out to the public. Um, one thing I should point out is if you do come to the YouTube channel, you'll be seeing some of the videos um, prior to their full production. So um, some of the notes maybe are incomplete or uh, if we're going to be adding a music soundtrack that might not have been done yet. And certainly videos, as soon as they appear, um, in the first probably 15 to 20 minutes, they may still be rendering and the quality isn't as good. So if you're getting these uh, videos, the very freshest videos, you'll want to uh, be mindful of that. Um, but otherwise, basically what we're trying to do is offer the content that you'll find on resourcesforlife.com that's in text format. These videos are an effort to offer the same content and maybe a little bit broader content uh, in the form of video because some people just relate to visual learning better than reading, you know? So that's what this is about. And I want to uh, say just a few words about the quality of the video technology itself. There are obviously some limitations of streamed videos, particularly if somebody doesn't have a high-speed connection, right? Um, and these, most of these videos that are, you know, three to five minutes, or as I say, less than 10 minute videos, these are pretty much exclusively done using an iPhone, an Apple iPhone 3GS. The reason for that is that it's the quickest, easiest, uh, most efficient way to record um, produce and publish video. You just push the record button, when you're done you push stop, and then you upload it. That's basically it. Um, and I do have, you know, the technology, I have a high definition, uh, very nice high definition video camera at my disposal um, that I, I purchased recently. I also have an extremely fast high-end computer with some excellent software, and I've, I've done professional video production before, so I'm not um, unfamiliar with that and, and certainly am able to do that, but the problem, of course, with high quality, high definition video is that it takes up a lot of hard drive space, it takes a lot of time to do the video transfer um, from the camera to the computer and then, you know, waiting for that to render, and if you want to do some transitions and text, etc., uh, it's, it's just, it's time consuming to do something of the level that I would want to do. And so the iPhone 3GS videos are an excellent alternative to that. So anyway, I guess I wanted to explain that by way of at least um, sharing that, you know, even though higher quality video is possible for the purpose of just getting content out there in pretty much real time, um, th this is really kind of the only way to do that in a cost-effective way and, and in a way that doesn't take up a huge amount of time. So um, basically that's, that's it. That's the introduction. Feel free to browse these different playlists. Uh, my hope is that there will be actually um, pages on Resources for Life that combine these videos embedded 
with pictures, text, graphs, charts, etc. So kind of the full multimedia experience on resourcesforlife.com. But these videos also stand on their own for anybody who wants to uh, subscribe and, and uh, check us out that way. So if you have any suggestions for improvement, if you have any topics that you'd like to see covered in these brief videos or a longer, uh, more professionally produced video, let me know and I'll try to uh, respond to those requests. So thanks for your interest and your support of resourcesforlife.com and hope to see you again here soon. Take care.